Yes, if you want a longer penis, is a it, if you are considering method to achieve a longer penis, it's very important that you get uh, to approach the topic with a lot of caution and be informed about the effectiveness, risks and limitations of various options. Here is a comprehensive overview. Guys, the channel is Nazvin. If you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Let me know how we are doing in our channel. Let me know what we need to improve in our channel so that we give you the best of the best like uh, we always want to do in this channel. My name is Vincent. This is where we get to talk matters medical in a simple language which uh, we can always understand. And kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Uh, for any support, we have details in our channel. Uh, if you like the video, like uh, kindly like the video. Uh, by liking the video, you get YouTube to recommend us to a larger population in which uh, by, recommend, by, uh, by YouTube recommending us, you get more people to know matters such as sensitive as this in a simple language which everyone uh, can understand because sexual issues affect every one of us even if we pretend uh, these things are very real and they affect our daily uh, uh, our daily life so if you want to get a longer penis is a very great topic where we get to discuss a lot uh, people get to discuss it under waters uh, or privately, but I want to talk something about uh, this longer penis thing here uh, today. So sit back and watch about the longer penis thing. So uh, if you are considering methods to achieve the longer penis thing, it is important to approach the topic with a lot of uh, caution so that you may be effective uh, because there are some of these things can be effective for some people and it may not work for other individuals as much as uh, we want. So it's very key that uh, we get to uh, discuss this uh, with a lot of, uh, a lot of caution, uh, but uh, uh, it is what it is. So we're going to state the facts. What we're going to talk about is the facts which uh, involve uh, a lot about uh, the penis size. So, uh, Non-surgical methods of lengthening the uh, penis, penis size is uh, what I'm going to talk about first. We're going to talk about surgical options. We're going to talk about uh, considerations and risks and also alternative focus. So, that we're going to, so guys, sit back and we talk about this uh, uh, wanting longer penis. If you want a longer penis, what you should do? That's my uh, topic for today. Penal extenders is one of the non-surgical methods. So device, we have some devices designed uh, to stretch the penis gradually over time. So clinical studies have shown that they can be effective for some individuals, but can resu the result can vary. So on the clinical studies which have shown that they can be effective for some individuals, but the results vary and they require consistent use and also, uh, and also patience at the end of the day. Vacuum pumps, we have what we call vacuum pumps as an surgical uh, thing. So where techniques such as uh, uh, a vacuum around the penis is created, drawing blood into it and also causing erection. While this can help temporary enlargement, improve of blood flow and are not uh, typically effect for permanent lengthening. So this is a temporary way where you use vacuum pumps to do, draw blood to the penis area so that uh, you, you have that erection, but it's a temporary thing. Exercises. So techniques such as what you call chalking, where a type of manual stretching exercise is done, and some su are suggested, however, there is a limited scientific evidence to support this uh, chalking exercise, where and it, it is effectiveness. So improper use can cause uh, very bad injuries or damage at the end of the day. Pills and supplements. We have a lot of many products claim to increase the penis size, but there is little evidence to support uh, the, the effectiveness and because they may carry risks and also the effects which may not be regulated. So guys, we have a lot of online selling of these pills. Uh, if you do this, you will get uh, that uh, big uh, penal size, but uh, you need to be very careful and also discuss it with your healthcare provider uh, on the safety over the same so that it can get to help you to get uh, it's not something, especially those pills are not well known how they uh, affect the body or the long term effects of, of it or it is function, how they get, get to function very well. Uh, surgical options we have penile lengthening surgery. 
Uh, this involves cutting the suspens uh, suspensory uh, ligament of the penis to allow it to extend outward. This can, it can be perceived uh, at length, but may become a risk uh, as a uh, scarring. Uh, it can cause scarring and also reduce uh, the penal stability and the potential erectile uh, dysfunction. So, and also grafting, some procedures in grafting uh, of implants to add length. These surgeries can carry also risks, which can be quite evasive. Consider consideration and risks. Also, always before you consider either pills and non-surgical or surgical options, consult your healthcare professionals. Always discuss your goals with your urologist or your healthcare provider before pursuing any treatment. That's very key, guys, so that they can offer uh, guidance based on your individual uh, needs at the end of the day, so that you, they deliver on what uh, really goes with your health status. Realistic expectations, understand that the many products and procedures do not deliver 100% like I mentioned and the permanent results. So it's essential to be realistic with the expectations and the focus on overall, uh, overall uh, sexual health and also satisfaction. Potential risks is very key, where some methods, especially the surgical ones, can come with risk of complications such as infections, like another surgery uh, thing so that uh, you get to be informed about uh, the, 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 the side effects. Also psychological impact, so consider concerns about the pains that are affecting your self-esteem or relationship. Uh, psychological factors influence sexual, uh, sexual satisfaction and also confidence at the end of the day. So that is very key on how you should maneuver around uh, these, uh, these topic guys. Uh, so that you get uh, the kind of uh, best help as much as uh, as possible. So uh, alternative focus, improving the sexual techniques, in enhancing intimacy and sexual techniques can also often provide uh, greater satisfaction and address the management concerns. Communication with your partner, including different aspects of the sexual pleasure, can be very key and beneficial at the end of the day to help you uh, have quality life. So seeking a longer penis involves a range of options from non-surgical methods to more invasive procedures. So it's crucial to consult with your care professionals, very key, focusing on your overall health, communication, and also confidence in also providing significant role in achieving uh, satisfaction uh, sexual experience. On the management of this, managing desire of longer penis involves, involves uh, exploring safe, effective options while maintaining realistic expectations like our missions and also prioritizing overall uh, sexual health and some of these approaches which are used we have seeking medical advice is very key where you discuss your goals with your urologist or your health care provider to understand the safest and the most appropriate options uh, on your health needs assess health conditions so that uh, you ensure that no underlying health issues that might affect the sexual function or your sexual effectiveness of treatment. Explore non-surgical or procedures first or options like penal extenders like I mentioned for vacuum pumps and also exercises as guided by your healthcare provider. Also consider psychological and relationship factors. Addressing your body image concerns is very key where you explore uh, counseling and also therapy to address uh, concerns about body image or self-esteem issues where that they may, which may impact your sexual health and also satisfaction at the end of the day. Enhanced communication is very key with your partner. Open communication with your partner can improve your sexual satisfaction and reduce anxiety related to your penile size. Evaluation of the surgical options. Better lengthening surgery, like I mentioned. If considering surgery, thorough, thorough research, discuss the risks, uh, thoroughly research on risks and also benefits and potential outcomes with a qualified specialist, especially a urologist, to understand the surgical surgery may become the risk as, as uh, it may become risk at the end of the day also, uh, so that you are ready for those uh, risks at the end of the day. So uh, because we may, you may develop scarring and also erectile dis dysfunction as this as in the process of uh, lengthening. On grafting procedures, if exploring grafting options, consult with your surgeon uh, also uh, who specialize in this field so that you may understand the potential risk and also recovery process uh, as involved as much as possible. So very key, discuss with your healthcare provider to help you understand uh, the grafting process and also the potential side effects which can be uh, involved in that. 
focus on overall sexual health. So health lifestyle, maintaining uh, diet, regular exercises, avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol to support overall sexual health is a very great function so that you boost your confidence also. Uh, it's very key, you, so uh, because through various means, including exploring techniques and uh, focusing on mutual pleasure with your partner is very key. Evaluate the alternatives which can be there. Uh, uh, we have sexual enhancement techniques where you consider focusing on improving sexual techniques, enhancing intimacy, exploring the different aspects of sexual pleasure that do not rely on uh, penis size. It's very key. So. Uh, sometimes we have uh, complications related to these surgeries uh, or the lengthening of the penis. And on the non-surgical uh, methods like penile uh, extenders, we may have side effects like uh, discomfort and pain. We may have skin irritations. We may have uh, if uh, we may have effectiveness vari variability. This can result uh, very widely, and not everyone can make, have this significant change in the uh, penis size. Vacuum pumps, temporary results, it is very temporal as a complication. The, because pumps uh, provide uh, temporal enlargement and also may result in permanent changes, potential injury, overuse or incorrect use can cause bruising, numbness or tissue damage. Risk of dependence also can also be another thing. We are relying on the pump to, for sexual activity might lead to psychological dependence or decreased confidence. Exercise, uh, what you call gel king. It can cause injury. Incorrect technique of or excessive use can lead to penile injury, including bruising, pain, or erectile dysfunction. Lack of evidence also of this gel leaking exercise. The limit, because of the limited scientific evidence on the effectiveness of this exercise, uh, uh, may, may, it may put one to risk of possibly injury, and also the risk may overweigh the benefits. Pills and supplements. Many supplements can cause side effects such as gastrointestinal issues, headache, and also allergic reactions. So also many many supplements also lack scientific evidence proving that their effectiveness may increase uh, penis size. Uh, on the surgical options, uh, the, like any other surgery, we have things like infection, bleeding, scarring, and also adverse reaction to the anesthesia because these are theater procedure. Uh, you expect, an, like any other surgery, to have those uh, side effects. And sometimes they not, may not go very well with uh, the client or the patient at the end of the day. So uh, on the grafting procedures also, the grafts may fail like any other grafting procedure. So uh, there are risk of infections, scarring, and also complication from anesthesia. So also the, compl uh, the, the failure of the graft alone, and also they can be also decreased uh, uh, sensation. Grafting can result in decreased the sensation also because of the, uh, the altered sensitivity in the, in the penis. So this can also be a thing. Psychological and relationship impact. Persistent dissatisfaction of, of an unrealistic expectation can lead to lowered self-esteem and also anxiety. Relationship strain. Focus on penile size rather than the overall sexual satisfaction can create stress or dissatisfaction in that particular relationship and this may not occur well with uh, the partners. The pursuit of a large penis may exacerbate anxiety, depression, or other mental health uh, issues. Many methods, uh, surgical options can be very expensive also, and this can be, uh, cannot be covered by insurances because uh, most of the insurances avoid uh, covering this because it is uh, considered uh, they are not very primary in the coverage of those insurances. So money-wise, if you don't have the cash, you don't have the money, you don't have the dollars, you will get into a lot of uh, bucks out of your pocket. It can drain you a lot. Long-term impact, uh, the potential also you may have, uh, there is no guarantee of significant results at the end of the day, and some methods might not produce the desired outcome. And on the long-term effects and the potential needs of follow-up treatment or adjustment, like any other surgeries, you may need to see your doctor for a long time to monitor you so that you get the kind of help or follow-up that is uh, needed at the end of the day. So these uh, uh, on the prevention part of it, always seek medical advice uh, and uh, so that you get to overall health uh, evaluation with your healthcare provider before you embark on 
the use the, the the methods are mentioned where you want to increase your penny size and also prioritize your expectations so that you set achievable goals understand the many methods may not result in potential outcome uh, the, the potential outcomes because we have limitations and also various disappointments may occur and also where you may have potential psychological impact at the end of the day and also very key assess the need for surgery consider whether the benefits of the surgery outweigh the risks and explore less invasive options first before you go for surgery less invasive procedures uh, options can be considered and that your doctor can really advise you for that uh, uh, so that you address it as much as possible also if you have a uh, how you you have low self-esteem you boost your self-esteem work on building self-confidence and addressing uh, any body image concerns through counseling or therapy at the end of the day communicate with your partner openly discuss any concerns or desires uh, with your partner to improve the mutual understanding and also intimacy monitor health and safety is very key where you go for regular checkups uh, which can identify and address any underlying health issues which can affect the, your sexual function. Avoid self-medication, guys. We have a lot of medication to increase your penny size out there. Kindly don't just buy for your partner, don't buy for yourself. Consult always with your healthcare provider so that you avoid potential harmful effects at the end of the day because some of those products are very harmful. So consult with your healthcare provider very key before starting any treatment or supplements. So by focusing on safe, realistic approaches and maintaining uh, uh, overall sexual and physical health, you can prevent complications and also achieve uh, satisfaction, uh, sexual satisfaction without unnecessarily uh, getting to the risks. So pursuing longer penis requires careful and informed approach. It's essential to consult your healthcare provider to explore safe, effective options and maintain realistic expectations.